So recently, I dropped a spoken word video titled Women vs. Men. Oh yeah, it was on. And the main question in that video was, do women need men or do men need women? I mean, it's a new age. Now, if you search women vs. men in YouTube, you'll get an abundance of results. And I think the reason is because it's a question that's on a lot of people's minds. So I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm actually gonna give you my answer right now at the beginning of the video. And the answer is yes. And also, no. And it depends. Hmm. Let's just talk about it. Okay, so I said my answer was yes, no, and also it depends. So let's start off with why I say yes. Now, this is probably the most obvious, but men and women need each other in order to procreate. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We need them to make the babies. to create them and to raise them. I've read several studies that state that two parent household offer kids a lot more benefits than growing up in a single parent household in general. Now this doesn't mean that kids who grow up in single parent households are all doomed and turned out horrible, but it does mean in general, your kids have a chance of doing better in life when they have both parents in the home. Also, we're talking about healthy relationships, healthy relationships. Okay, but I, I also said no. I said no, so let's talk about that. No! 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 Now let's be honest, in today's times, modern times, life offers us so many different conveniences that we fortunately and unfortunately don't need each other. See, back in the day, women and men had their traditional roles, right? And they offered each other specific things that each other needed. Not to get too deep in the weeds, but men typically offered protection and resources and women stayed at home and they took care of the children and the household. Now, some people still believe in those traditional roles and some people don't. And so back then, people got married to each other in order to have access to those specific benefits. See, but now things are a little different. Husbands no longer need a woman to have dinner prepared when they get home after a long day of work or to clean the house. We have delivery services, Instacart, maid services, and women no longer need a man for protection and resources. There are a lot of women in the workforce earning their own money. Now we have alarm systems, the ability to own firearms. You can live in a gated community. So basically, there are a lot of things that people can do and purchase in order to replace the things that men and women provided back in the day. And as far as emotional needs like companionship, security, support, intimacy, etc. These days, people are looking to depend on friends and family and even social media connections in order to replace all of that. And when I say replace, I mean replace it from getting it from a man or a woman. And whether you agree with that or not, it's not the point. It's just an observation of what reality is. Now, this isn't my personal outlook, but this is how some people see it. Now, in my spoken word, I also said this. So do we need each other? It depends on what your goal is. And the reason that I say it depends is because it depends on what you want. Let me put it like this. A lot of you watching probably have cars. And you use your car to get to work, to go to the store, to go to the gym, wherever. And if I were to ask you if you needed your car, you would reply, why yes, yes, I need my car. But I can make the case that you don't need your car. I mean, you could take an Uber, a taxi, you can walk or bike places, you could take public transportation. If you live in the city, you could probably use an electric scooter to get around too. But the reason that you would say you needed your car is because of the perceived value of said car. And even with all the alternative solutions that I provided you, you would still prefer to have the car. In other words, you would say none of those things could replace the value that you get from using your car. You know, I can't make that living without my car. Now, women and men aren't cars, but the point is that there's value that we add to each other's lives regardless if we need each other or not. The only way that we don't add value is if you already have it in your head that the other side isn't valuable or if we choose bad women or men to be with. Sometimes when we make those choices to be with the wrong person, we let that negative experience influence how we see people moving forward. But that's for another video. I'm gonna leave it alone for right now. You're safe. See, simply being a man or a woman doesn't mean you automatically add value. It's a lot more than that. It depends on your character, your morals, your values, the way you move in life, how you treat others. See, I believe that men and women were meant to go hand in hand. It's like peanut butter and jelly, mac and cheese, 
Batman and Robin, Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, Chick-fil-A nuggets and whatever sauce you like. So yes, you can go through life and be perfectly fine without a man or a woman. I just also believe that you are missing out on added value that we bring to each other. And again, we're talking about healthy relationships, healthy people. So when I say it depends, it depends on your perception of the opposite sex. And it also depends on if you want that added value. Because if you want that added value, then yes, you need men or you need women. And if you don't, you don't. But this is not a video about how everybody needs to be married or anything like that. I don't even think that's statistically possible. But this is a message about not believing the lie that women and men are supposed to be in some kind of conflict, that we're supposed to be at war, that we're supposed to be enemies, that we're supposed to be competing with each other. I'm starting to see a lot of talk on social media and somewhat in real life that people are negating the value that men and women offer to each other. There are going to be people who aren't going to add value into your life and maybe even devalue you in a certain way. But those are the people that you shouldn't align with. Find the person who's going to add value to your life and build with that person. I feel like this should be a longer video, but I don't want to take up too much of your time. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button. Share with your friends. And until the next time, it's your boy K-Soul. Peace.